That it was. LCA had their football legs under them with a win last week yep. against DeSales. On the other side, game number one for Lexington Catholic. So let's call it week one <laughs> slash two. And we may have witnessed the best game we'll see all season. How about this one? Jack Goman replacing Bo Allen as the Knights quarterback. He had Lexcath up 20 to 7 in the fourth, but here come the Eagles with under 10 to play. Drew Neves to Xavier Brown. Number 20 is a power five talent for a reason. He was just getting started. That cut the lead to 2013. 3.30 to go, and this was a disaster for the get go. Bobbled snap, the back grabs it, fighting for extra yards, and oh, oh. sometimes you wish you just went down. Hindsight always 20 20. Eagles have it. Neves rolls, firing. What can Brown do Ooh. for you? He can tie it up. The Eagles would miss the extra point, so it looks like we may be heading to overtime. But LCA gets it back, and they put a drive together in the final 90 seconds. Neves, Xavier Brown, nice gain. It sets up this. Three seconds left. It's Andrew Dobbs. Party's at Dobbs' house tonight. <laughs> Pick nine, friends. LCA with the walk-off win, 23-20, final. Brian Station looking to give new coach Phil Hawkins his first win. Hosted Tate's Creek. Tie game at seven. The Commodores Aaron Klein, the quarterback keep, and he just holds it across the line for the touchdown. Creek on top 14-7 in the second quarter. Brian Station answers back. Amadeus shifty. Look at this. Oh. Brian Station has a bunch of shifty backs. Outside, end zone, got it. 42-yard touchdown. The defenders get the win. How about that? Congrats, coach. 41-21.